Hey guys, we have our boxy charm to open, and the theme is everyone will be under your spell. It's a nice little spooky, ooky spooky. for the spooky season or all year round, as uh, it is in this house. All right, uh, this is the half caked airbrushed complexion duo, just like the duo of annoying cats we have, with your new half caked airbrushed complexion brush duo a flawless base is at your fingertips swirl and stipple foundation with the 110 complexion brush brush letting this brush do all the work they say brush way too much in this it's a brush did you know that <laughs> apply liquid cream and powder products to the tapered handy hand tied 160 concealer brush both brushes work together to create a seamless soft and natural look Brush, 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 brush. These feel nice. So many brush. Like, brush, 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 brush. They're not too heavy, not too light, but like the, the fibers feel really nice. Does it say if they're natural or synthetic? It does not. I actually I actually looked for that there. It does not say either or. I mean, not that I have a preference one over the other. You don't have a preferite? Nah. All right, here you go. Here's the next thing. This is Toy Factory Super Set Hyaluronic. This is the only reason why I know how to pronounce that mm -hmm. word. Acid setting spray. Your serum and setting spray are now one. And that look you just created is about to last all day long and all night. Featuring hyaluronic acid to lock in your color payoff while coating your skin with a misty serum expertly formulated for all day hydration as a dewy, soft, professional look. Seems like a strange thing to put in setting spray. Both of these products are new launches. Ooh. The brushes and the, the spray? Yeah, the brush and the spray and another item are. All right, so we have from the Beauty Crop. This is Stuck on You Eye Primer. This soft and creamy eye primer makes your eyeshadow go so much further. It locks in color and prevents pigments from creasing, smudging, or fading. This universal eye primer is buildable and slightly tinted so eyeshadow pigments really pop and is held in place throughout the day. The formula is enriched with pomegranate seed and grapeseed oil to keep lids smooth and moisturized. I'm happy that my lids will be moisturized. I'm happy to try a new primer because I'm really not fond of the ones I've tried so far. Cats. There's just cats running back and forth through here. I love it. This is Skin Ink Serum Glow Filter. Blending beauty and technology in one bottle, this clever concoction is formulated with rare gold hibiscus extract and Skin Ink's top two best-selling serums, the niacinamide, okay, and hyaluronic acid, to give you a selfie filter in real life. It's perfect for every day and uses light reflective technology that enables external light to bounce off your complexion for a glowy, pearlized, even finished. Wait, how would you know if you have makeup on over it? I don't know. I don't know either. Why would you? And it's a strange decision to send both of these. If this is supposed to be a serum and a setting spray, but then you also send a serum, like I'm not mad about the serum at all. Don't get me wrong. I love serums, but I was just confused. Serum, serum, serum. All right, this is from Ciate London. This is called the Spice Palette. A spicy. It's a very spicy palette. Why is it spicy? Why is it spicy? All right. Before I break this, is there a certain, is there a certain way to open this? You need to talk nice to it. Do you have to shut the fuck up? Yeah, look at that. It opened when I did that. So, that's what the palette looks like. Da da. Ba, 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 ba. Anyway. I did stick my fingers in this palette. That's what she said. That's why it looks like that. All right, so the Ciate London Spice Palette is a blend of highly pigmented metallics and mattes that works seamlessly with neutral mattes to add an epic spice to any makeup look. This is also, this is the other product that is a new launch. The Spice. What are the names of the colors? Uh, the Spice. So, like I wish every freaking palette would do, on the back of the palette, there is literally... A color key. All of them. Which I imagine it's how they are in here. So this would be, so you would have 
this one that I'm about to put my finger in. It's raincoat, acorn, ac uh, acorn's the middle one here, and then this one is moonlit, and then this one below it is pumpkin soup, hot amber. <laughs> The middle one here is cranberry, apple pie, and then this one all the way over here is warm spice and pine cone. It's a, it's a choice to make an eyeshadow color after a soup. It's, I don't think I've ever... I think they're all fall things. I don't think I've ever Raincoat, encountered a acorn, palette that has anything named moonlit. after a soup. It's good soup. I guess. Uh, warm spice, cranberry, pumpkin soup, pine cone, apple pie, hot amber. These are all fall things. So you got a fall palette from Siate London, and I actually know who that is. I feel like I have all of these colors already. As I've said with a lot of warm toned palettes, I have all of these colors. Well, that's colors you prefer. I mean, I really like bright colors, though. No, but you also like warm tones. Sometimes. So. I just feel as though the makeup industry's been kind of warm toned out at this point. Like, there's just so much. It's an they're oversaturated kind. They're safe. Their warm tones are safe colors that a majority of people can use. Yeah. So if you, from a business aspect, if you want to sell more stuff, you do more popular stuff. Or they realized, like, in the mid-2000s, I think, that that's when the warm smoky eye really kicked off and how much money it made and i think yes. that's probably really linked to youtube and how many people really pushed that warm smoky eye on youtube so they were like we could keep making money off this I let's love, just keep going i love a nice warm smoky eye which maybe you'll do but i won't be here because now you're gonna go put on makeup and tell them if you like it or not and i might be here i might not there might be a cat here i don't know it's probably gonna be a cat here it's probably gonna eat if i'm not if i'm not here there's definitely gonna be a cat here yeah what are you putting stuff on for serum all right i'm gonna go before she puts makeup on me okay again. Bye. bye oh hey there so i'm gonna try some of this stuff in real time just because i can't really see it being you know too great of a review if I'm using a brush but not really showing it or using the serum. So at least I'll do that. I'm going to do the eyeshadow off camera, however. So have the serum here. No scent. That's cool. My face is freshly washed. Seems to absorb pretty quickly. It looks luminous, or maybe that's just my skin already. I'm always kind of shiny no matter what, which is fine. Feels nice. I don't feel any, like, burning or tingling sensations, which I always kind of worry about with uh, new products just because I have sensitive skin. But yeah. I'm going to let that sink in a little bit. I'm also going to throw on that eye primer quick. Swap my mirror around here. I saw this hack on TikTok yesterday, because that's where I get all of my information, where somebody used the Urban Decay eye primer on their lashes and like, like this, and then used a spoolie to push it through and then put their mascara on and their lashes held their curl. So that's interesting. Never thought to do that. Also, I don't use eyelash curlers, so I don't know like how well it would work if you're just, you know, going in. But this has a creamy consistency. It doesn't have like a stiff feeling like um, some eyeshadow primers do where you feel like you're just like dragging your lid around, which is nice little dab does go a long way i don't see that it has that much of a base color to it i know it said it was like slightly tinted but if you're really looking for your eyeshadows to pop use the nyx milk crayon that is a bit hard to get on but it does stick and it does make everything really really bright because it's just a really stark white what's in my hair i don't know color but yeah 
It's fine. We'll see how it does with my hooded eyes. And I'm gonna do everything else. I'll be back for the foundation and the setting spray. All right, so I did my eyes for the most part. I'm still gonna put a lash on and finish under my eyes. I used this middle shade here. I blended it out a little bit with that. I used that lighter color up near my brow. And then I used this on my mobile lid and this a little bit to deepen up the corners, the outside corners. And I'm going to do the foundation in real time. I don't know that I'm gonna do the concealer brush because I really don't wear concealer anymore. I really don't even wear foundation anymore. I've just been going, ooh, <laughs> I've been going with this as just like a tinted sunscreen if I do wear anything on my face uh, Monday through Friday. Thursday I don't just because I'm at work in a medical office and I wear a mask all day so I'm just gonna oh wow I haven't used this in a while <laughs> I have primed my skin with the elf matte putty primer I still look really luminous from that serum I'm just gonna dot a little bit on here I think if I go just with the brush, it's going to be um, a disaster. So, Okay, lots of dots. All right. And it said a stippling motion. It seems to be blending out really nicely. I put a lot of primer in this area specifically because I have to wear glasses to see my phone or the computer. It's nice. I still feel bad because I don't really wear foundation. But I guess if I wanted to wear foundation and would love the option of having to clean a brush, this would be good. I really don't like cleaning brushes. Like who does? Nobody. There's people that don't like to clean brushes and then there's liars. Yeah, this is pretty. My hand is getting tired. I'm just going to swirl because I like to blend my foundation down my neck. I don't know if I even said what foundation I'm using, but it's this Bare Minerals one that's really dirty. Sorry. <laughs> it's gross. Um, but yeah, the brush works really nicely. For the most part, it feels really soft. There are a little, a few instances I'm getting like a little poking. I have a little bit of foundation left on my hand. I'm just gonna use the concealer brush to put it under my eyes. Okay, that's a really nice brush. It pats it out really, really nicely. That's really pretty, I'm, I'm a fan of that. And it's very, very soft, but it's not like too soft. That is just bending like over itself while you're using it. I like that. Good stuff. Good stuff. I'm going to finish up the rest of my face and then I'll be back with that setting spray, which I did try it a little bit, like not on makeup skin but just to see like how the sprayer would be and it was very forceful so I'm scared but I'll see you soon. All right so face makeup done eyes are done I don't think I'm going to be doing a lip today just because I'm I'm not feeling it but I put like a little lip gloss on. Uh, moment of truth I'm terrified to use this setting spray. <laughs> I'm gonna try to like hold it back a little bit more than I did initially to see if that helps with how powerfully it comes out. Um, yeah, all right, here we go. Oh my God. 
It's like a gunshot. <sighs> my eyelashes are sticking together. That was terrifying. Um, my hair is, I think, wet. Yep. It's just like a lot. I probably didn't need as much as I sprayed on. I'm a little concerned that it's on my eyelids. I can feel it on my eyelids and I don't want them to get affected and crease. So I'm just going to fan those babies off real well. Maybe pat them out a little bit. I don't want it to affect that eyeshadow primer or the eyeshadow itself, but yeah, I'm, I'm feeling a little traumatized, but hopefully the claims are as good as they say. We'll see how it wears. It is like 220. I'm probably not gonna wear this more than like six hours, but we'll see how it does. Usually it doesn't take very long for my eyelids to start creasing and things to start breaking up. But yeah, I'm hopeful. I'll see you in just uh, one second. All right, here's my wrap up video. I noticed when I was using the eyeshadows, I forgot to mention, they don't have a lot of fallout, but they do have a ton of kickback in the palette, so that was a bit messy. I could see that being problematic with the light shades and the dark shades so close together if you mix them up. That could be very bad if you don't notice, but it is 816 and yep, just as I thought. I don't know if you can really see it, but it did separate a whole lot. Not super thrilled about that. Although that could have been from the uh, dousing of setting spray that I had. So I'd like to try those two independently to see if it makes a difference not using the setting spray with that eye primer, if the primer really, really holds. I feel though, even with the separation, the eyeshadow does, what's left of it looks nice and pigmented and pretty. Um, yeah, I can't really say too much about the serum itself just because like that's one of those things you have to use a couple times to really get a feel for it. I like the brushes. Happy about the brushes. The palette is fine. Uh, did you get any of the same items in your BoxyCharm? I would love to know. Leave me a comment down below. If you have not yet, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews. Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at Reanimator. And I hope you're having a wonderful spooky season and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.